Nihon Ken folk. It's your boy JEM, Mighty Hova, coming back at you with the Netflix series. We talking part two, framing charts. I figured we'd do a little a something a little bit different, man, because a lot of you guys, and, and bless you guys for doing it, a lot of people have been hitting me up in my DMs asking me, how do I do a camera day? How do I do these framing charts? How do I set it up? So I figured what we do is just do a simple setup, okay? And I'm gonna rig it so it's really simple. It's something that you can do before your shoots on your camera day, okay? And it won't take up a lot of expense. It won't take up a lot of your time. Okay, so let's get at it, okay? So the first thing I would say is, is look, I'm not gonna get into what a framing chart is. I'm not gonna get into how you uh, use a framing chart once you get into the system. If you need to know all of that, go back and watch part one. It's on YouTube. Um, if you're watching this on IG or Facebook, uh, go down to my timeline. You'll see the link for it. Follow the link, watch the video, leave a like and subscribe like always. Love you for that. And uh, you'll know what that is. If you're on um, some other platform, I'll make sure I provide the link for you. Okay. But suffice to say, you get you watch part one, you'll see the framing chart, you adjust the framing chart to your liking. And then this is what you do on your camera day. Once you've got that framing chart all set up, you got it printed and you have your camera day. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is our camera setup, okay? Uh, went with a simple setup for you guys, nothing sophisticated. We're not talking about Reds, Aries, any of that stuff. Simple setup. Uh, this is a Panasonic GH5, 35 millimeter lens, matte box, follow focus, simple setup. Uh, 95 95% uh, 95 of you guys, if you have the same setup, this puts you in ballpark. It shows you can be done. Nothing hard. Okay. Uh, moving on to here, we have our we we've got how how it's gripped up. Okay. Simple Avenger stand. Now, it would be much better if I had a C stand. Okay. But I know a lot of you guys don't have the you know you don't have the capital right now to go out and buy a uh, a, a Matthew C stand. $175, $180, I get it, okay? So what we're looking at right here, simple Avenger stand, okay? Uh, you know, make sure you get one that's good construction, okay? You pick it up on Amazon. I think this is a newer uh, brand and stuff. Plenty sturdy for something like this to hold boards and things like that, nothing heavy, okay? What I have at the top there is a, an, an umbrella stand simple umbrella angle tiltable stand okay so it bends 90 degrees um you cap that on top of the on the top of the avenger and at the at, coming out of the umbrella stand is a cartellini okay an invite and I'll, I'll show you guys right here this is what it looks like okay this is also uh something you can pick up on amazon it's amazingly cheap compared to a real car like uh cartellini right now will probably run you uh anywhere from 70 to 80 bucks, okay? Uh, Matthews or, or another uh, established brand. Found these on Amazon, picked it up for uh, a set of two for 30, about $36, okay? Now, I'm gonna leave all the links for all of this stuff. All the links for all this stuff, I'm gonna leave it down in my YouTube uh, page, so just search down there. I will tell you this right now, these are affiliate links. So if you guys do purchase from there, It'll help me out a little bit. I greatly appreciate it. But you can go down there. It'll take you straight to this stuff. You can pick it up, integrate it into your filmmaking kit. Okay? Now, so we've got it set up. Uh, let's talk about the board. Okay. Uh, took the Illustrator file, sent it to Kinko's. Took the Illustrator file, sent it to Kinko's. Uh, printed it up in two days, gave it back to me. This is nothing nothing more than a, uh, a poster printed and matted on foam core, okay? Now, I like to have mine's double back, so I like to have two two pieces of foam core, um, you know, put together. And the guys at uh, uh, Kinko's can do that for you, okay? So not a big problem, okay? This ran me about 60 bucks. This is 36 by 24. Now, preferably, when I make my boards, I, use, I like to go 48, so 48 by 36, rather than 24 by 36. Your choice, do what you have to do. But you kind of see in order on a 35 millimeter lens, you kind of see how close you have to get to get that fully into the screen. So if you look here, 
If you look here, you'll see that um, it, it takes up the full frame, but you have to move it in a little bit, okay? Not a problem, it's your choice. You do what you wanna do, okay? 48 allows you to move back a little bit, gives you a little room to, to breathe, okay? Now, most important thing here, make sure, your, make sure your camera's balanced up, make sure this is balanced up. Okay, so camera, if you have a bubble on your, on your tripod, you're pretty much good to go, okay? Now, when it comes to the board, standard leveler. This is a standard leveler, pick it up any hardware store, I get it. I level here, I level here, and then I level here, okay? Now, to make adjustments on the on it, as far as whether it's tilted forward or back, I said I rigged a simple, I just rigged a simple little uh, tie system. There's some Velcro, Velcro attachments. You guys can see one right here. Just got some Velcro attachments with some hook loops in there. Ran the ran this through the hook loops back to the back to the stand. Tied it off once I got level. So once I got it level, I pulled it I pulled it tight until I got it level. Secured it. I'm all set to go. Okay. All right. So once again, once you get that. You get it framed up, it looks pretty good. Okay, now this is 35 millimeter lens. I'm gonna get a little distortion on here, so it's gonna bend the frame just a little bit. Ideally, you wanna go with that 50 millimeter. Okay, if you can get a 50 millimeter, I didn't have one available for the GH5, for the uh, Micro Four Thirds, but ideally you wanna go with a 50 mil. The third most important thing, okay, you wanna make sure you're focused up. You wanna use the Siemens focusing art. Very important. The Siemens focusing arc is a is a uh, a perfect circle. If it does not look like a perfect circle inside of your camera, you don't see that perfect circle. You have to you have to do some work on this to get it perpendicular, or you need to do something with your lens. You this is going to let you know whether or not a number one you're in focus, b number two whether or not uh, you know you, you're perpendicular to the to the camera. You've got um, a, a good framing, okay? So if you see distortion in these circles, if, if uh, one circle is distorted and up here it's not distorted, that probably means you got a tilt problem, okay? So it's something you wanna check out, just make sure. Not, not super serious. Third thing on our list, okay. Now some fun stuff. Hey, uh, you know, it's a simple setup. Integrate it into your camera day. Do me a favor, I wanna know is this something you guys want to use? Is this something you can integrate into your, your filmmaking? Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Leave your comments below, okay? Really want to hear what you got to say. And by all means, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, got a lot of great stuff coming up in June. Um, got ACES part two workflow. That's going to be pure for workflow. We're going to get into DaVinci. We're going to get into uh, Fusion. We're going to get into the 3D programs, whether it be Maya, um, think actually think about doing some unreal so that's coming up hopefully i'm gonna finish that up uh within this week okay so look out for that hit that notification man tyson that notification and then you'll get when i put out the video you'll know it's coming and stuff and then if you have ideals for videos lay it on me man give it to me okay because that's why i'm here i'm here to kind of make your filmmaking better and then that way when you send stuff to me it makes it easier for me to be able to help you and get good stuff cranked out. Okay, so I want to hear your problems. I want to hear your stuff. Uh, that's what I'm here for, man. Okay. Um, look out for more than Netflix series. We're going to uh, talk about some more camera day stuff. We're going to get into lens curves. Real fun stuff. All right. That's it for me. JM, Mighty Hova. Neon.